Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is the MEU Airsoft Pistol. Um, this is the special edition Airsoft GI one where it, with the long inner barrel and flash hider that is basically a silencer. And the gun itself and the leash. Um, I'm going to start with the gun. The gun right here has a lot of features on it. A lot of safety features. For one, when the magazine is in and you cock it back, it will automatically safety. If the magazine is in and you are trying to take the gun apart to put the inner barrel in, it will not come apart. You also have to pe press this button right here with the palm of your hand, then pull the trigger or else it will not fire. Um, it is blowback and it's really nice. I recommend using green gas because a couple of buddies of mine used propane and basically blew up the internals of their magazines. Um, the leash right here, this piece right here you can attach to a molly on your vest or on your belt, doesn't matter. This is just to, uh, it's a safety precaution so that you do not lose the weapon. It doesn't really help with the gun not hitting the floor. Um, came to recognize that the hard way. Um, this right here, this little loop, you feed it through the bottom of the, the gun right behind the magazine. As you can see right there, there's a little hole. Um, the inner barrel, to put the inner barrel in is actually pretty easy. And it looks a lot harder, it really is. And then this piece right here is just to slide over the inner barrel and screw on. Um, I'm going to take a quick video of me putting the new longer inner barrel in and show you just how easy it is. Alright, let's get set up over here. Alright, so we have the gun, the inner barrel. Set these down real quick. First what you want to do is you want to make sure that the magazine is taken out of the gun. Put the magazine in. Then you want to cock it back and there's a little button right here. Loosens up the safety pin. And then you take the safety pin out. Like so. Then with the magazine out you are able to pull the gun apart like so. Put the bottom half with the trigger on the on the full floor, wherever you want. Then you'll have a pin with a spring attached. Keep those together. Then right on the inside of the gun, right here, there's a longer, there's a little hollow pin that the spring goes into. And then right here, there's a little washer-like thing that you have to twist and then pull out. Thus, letting the little barrel come out. Then you just replace it with the longer inner barrel and just repeat the process but backwards. Slide that back in. Keep this twisted first and then put that in. Put the spring back in. Slide the back on. It really does look hard, but I learned it, I'm telling you, in like five seconds. Really easy process. Especially when you know what you're doing. Not like me, of course. Because apparently this isn't working. There we go. Sometimes the spring gets a little jacked up. Pull, keep the gun cocked back a little bit, the pin slides right back in, and to finish this puppy off, slide on the uh, piece right here, I always forget it's reverse threading, and there you got it, and you're ready to go fire. This also adds 80 to 85 feet per second to your weapon, this inner barrel, SOCOM edition. Uh, without it, it shoots about 300 FPS. With it, 380 to 385 FPS. Really an awesome magazine. It's
pretty durable from what I could see. Just recommend green gas and you'll be ready to fire in no time. Well, that's my review and you could uh, see our other videos on Fear Airsofting channel from YouTube. I'm known as Big Quinn and if you really want to know why it's because I'm 6'4 and I weigh 220 pounds. So if you see me on the course, that's what's happening. Alright, well, see you next time folks. I'll have a video for you soon.